free limbs for everyone. No, wait, I need these. What's up with your cat? Uh, cats? Sorry, I'm not sure how to address two-headed beings. They're my telepathic cat advisors. Being a rebel leader is pretty hard and they help a lot. Also, aside from their advice on guerrilla warfare and espionage, I like giving them pats. Would you like to be my romantic love interest? Uh, sorry, Paradigm. I already have a boyfriend. Here, look at this photo. He surprised me one day with a professional shoot. His gifts are always so thoughtful. I've got to go feed my dog. Okay. Godakul Limbium doesn't have quite the same ring to it. In other words... Mr. Meaton says well done. He won't be passive-aggressively pushing stuff off your table. For your effort, I'm going to give you an honorary membership to Paxt. It includes a free cupcake. They're super delish. Anyway, I'll go get the machine started. You just press the yellow button. Here goes nothing. Engage determination face. Activate multiverse method destroying failsafe. Four scientists go! It's pets noon. Activate pets. Form fashionable legs. Form arms. Attach below average hit. Hey, hey! I'm back! That was pretty weird. Oh! Oh god, it hurts! Make it stop! Go ask him how to defeat Olaf. Quick, just in case he dies. I don't want to die! Who said anything about dying? How do I defeat Le Checker in Primate Isle? Hey, I, I don't know what that is. How do I defeat the oppressive government? Well, you place explosives in the underground car parks of the biggest credit card companies. Wait, don't do that. How do I defeat Olaf? Dude, I literally just came back from the multidimensional plan. I'm all messed up. You don't want to know where my genitals are. It was torture. The guy kept telling me dead jokes. It was the worst. And now you're asking me all these heavy questions, man. Bad vibes. Hey. I met that guy as well. I feel your pain. Oh, right. Hmm. I guess Olaf is a dick anyway. I don't actually know. But I do know where you can get some juicy goss that'll go viral on the net, destroying his public image. I'll cast the clickbait curse. I'll be some sort of internet wizard. So, where are your genitals? Well, they're actually in the same place. I just wanted you to feel bad. Could I use the ghost to construct some dope rams instead to defeat him in a rap battle? That's a pretty good idea, actually. But yes, I think there is a more effective way. Topo Genetics has a space station which they went hepsis on with a local pickled cucumber company. It's actually amazing how much power they hold over Eastern and Western Europe now. Anyway. Topa Genetics holds all their sensitive documents there, including Olaf's genetic file. All you need to do is insert this floppy into the main computer and voice activate it with the password I don't know what to say, oh shit, is it recording? I'll take it from there. Please don't tell me I need to use the teleporter again. Don't worry! It was originally designed for this station so that we could figure out why the operator went out of radio contact. Then to save some of that cash money. 
<sighs> Only downside really is the 1000% of your daily radiation in techniques. You should be fine though. Press the yellow button three times and you'll be good to go. No time for that. I'll give you a buzz, dude, once you get there. Cheers. Laters. Bro, 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 bro. What the ebb? Why hell with the? Soto curva. Bro. Hey, dude, it's me. How you doing, buddy? Well, I'm proud to work as Oh, right. Dupa Genetics was working on a real time translator. Forgot about that. As well as the quad machine. Pretty cool. Good to sting off? It was actually one of its many problems. You need to turn it off, otherwise you can't say the password correctly. Well, you probably won't be able to say anything correctly, really. The translations it makes are... laughable. And occasionally don't even work. Good luck! Peace! Yanta, who for shit the Vigiuks here? I spent a lot of time in Ikea. Oh yeah, Swedish meatballs. The pobne ilatane computer. Odmavi na uku opchik jenziku. Rozumie tuko angielsku. Dawaj mi te informacje fanatku. Hiru das koprifikat von Leica zwei dem ersten hunde durch de vierte dimension gereisen ist. Iris mit super intelligence zurückkom ein vorbild für hunde. Zoom go best of your clock, can I get you clip it over then? I should do the as an expensive world president over then, can I the toys to electronic? Hello, like it's why. Cześć. Przestań mnie tak płacić, kapuśnie człowiek. Nie zmuszaj mnie do tego, bym że ciebie zrobiłem głomki. Thank you for activating the Alpha cloning system, made to alleviate you of mundane tasks. Clones are only to be used for said mundane tasks. I'm looking at you, Mishlav. We know the sick stuff you're into. Control the clones with the top left interface when it appears. Repeat the word, combust, when you're done with them. Bro. Can I speak English now? Oh yes. I guess I don't need you guys anymore. I feel like I've gotten to know all of you very well. And it pains me that there can only be one real paradigm. Will the real paradigm please stand up? I guess that was a stupid question. Well, I'm terrible with goodbyes. Lighters. <laughs> Combust. Nice. I can finally use the computer now. I 
can use the floppy now. I hope the multiverse didn't take my stuff again. Weird, I'm speaking in English again. I'll send the translator Dev some constructive feedback once this is all over. I don't know what to say, oh shit, it's recording. I miss all tech. New computers don't threaten your livelihood with high voltage. It's just not the same, you know. Yo, scientist guy, I've got the info. Great! Also, another might be some juicy goes on Bubba and yourself up there. So it's cool if you don't want to live yet. Just press the pickup button when you're ready to live. Alrighty, I... Here's the floppy with the info on it. All right, let me suss this out on the computer. So what's the deal? Okay, so the basic rundown is, he's a genetically engineered slot, but they couldn't remove all his natural instincts, which include doing nothing all day and chilling on trees. Like a stoner? <sighs> no. Like a sloth. Anyway, after you're done making shit jokes, if you could get a tree near him, it'd probably ignite his instincts. A five meter tree would probably do fine. Here is a peer reviewed scientific journal I published on it. I'm not sure you understand what peer reviewed means. You watched me as I drew it. Peer reviewed. And what the hell? A five meter tree? What other choice do you have? Let's be honest, this place has a bunch of messed up stuff going on. Just look at me! You'll find some solution. True. But you'll also need to get inside his room. The door is locked. Only the leader of the church of Leather Day Glim goes in there usually. He has a necklace that lets him in. You'll need to get it off him. Great. I've heard he loves to fight for things. Nostalgic about his wrestling days. And he loves JRPGs. I'll put it on a piece of paper too, so you can remember. Thank you for betraying your employer at the drop of a hat. Hey, no worries, man. I am a man of integrity, with a crippling addiction to free-to-play, food-based MMOs, which was probably going to get me fired at a moment's notice. <laughs> Worth it. Once you get the stuff, Paradigm, I should have a plan to take down Olaf ready, so hit us up when you do. Man, I'm never going to get to finish my EP. So, you finally decided to open Mysterious Hatch. Too bad I've already met another Hatch. We're doing great. No. No, stop. You're the one I've always wanted. Your paradigm, by the way... Yeah? That's where they keep all the faulty prodigy children. Your brothers and sisters. Kind of. You can check it out if you like. Might be super weird and traumatic, but whatever. Do what you want. I'm not your mom. I guess that was pretty insensitive since uh, you were grown in a vat. I'm just gonna... Uh, wish you luck? That's what people do, right? Damn geometry gate is always blocking dank entrances. Most people think they are from Crusher's radiation problem, but it's just a gross misuse of selective breathing. Just gotta smack him a few times. Welcome to the live art installation of the Forgotten Prodigy Children. 
Help yourself to the free wine and nibblies over there. I can't just take the only thing that might actually tempt someone to come to this art exhibition. That would be immoral, but delicious. Hello, fishman. Are you more of a man or a fish? Maybe you go by manfish instead. Maybe boyfish. Ladyfish? Fishfish. Man-man? I give up. It's awfully close to the edge. That pointy hat says to me, I love to party, but get close to me and I might just impale you. What is this place? It's the hottest exhibition in all of Krush. It looks more like a dank dungeon prison to me. Yeah, to some regular art pleb like you. Come on, look at the mood lighting. Don't lie to me. That's definitely dank dungeon lighting. Uh, all right, all right. It's an art exhibition which happens to be in a dungeon prison where Duba Genetics keeps all its faulty prodigy children. Just between you and me, I think some very rich art collectors are coming down here soon. People are starting to realize the appeal of dungeon prisoner art. I'm a prodigy child too, you know. An electronic music prodigy, that is. Aiming to become the greatest in the world. Really? For commercial or deep and meaningful artistic reasons? Do you have a rationale? Do you pleasure yourself over the sheer level of artistic intelligence that emanates from your head? I know I do. I just, uh, like the way some beeps and boops sound, I guess. Also, I would not be opposed to fat sticks. You truly are a disgusting human being paradigm. Art is for the soul and for stroking the ego. You are not an artist. Now I see why you peeps are in a dungeon. Can I give you a critique? No, you're wrong. I didn't say anything. Wrong! Ah! Sure. Pre what is true art? True art is... What? I'm sorry. Us true artists have ascended to another method of communication. One that a peasant like you wouldn't understand. Who is your favorite artist? Christoph Kandowski. Why? The few people who have seen it still don't understand his art. Uh, he makes me so inspired. Uh. Have you considered he might just be mentally insane? And that's why his art is incomprehensible. Don't make me get my exacto blade out. I'll carve my initials on you and claim you as a living, breathing, eating art piece. My life is already an art piece of self-loathing, sloth, and gluttony. Okay, uh, see ya. Bye, pleb. Okay, look. I, uh... Can't you see you're interrupting my visionary performance? Do it again and I will continue to scream! Wait. <coughs> Hello? Hmm, yes, you are correct. I've always thought I could be a fashion model. I just didn't have the height. A forerunner in tumor fashion. Yes. Yes. It's all right, huh? Except for that uh, weird mutation in Luxembourg where they managed to transcend human evolution, basically becoming demigods and threatening our entire existence. Other than that, pretty good. I 
I should talk to them first. I would like to purchase a cupcake, please. Sure, do you have... Yes, actually, uh, this pig's membership card. Yes, believe in the coupon. Take your pick. My favorite is alkaline flavor. I'll take this one. A fine choice, sir. See ya. This isn't a cupcake library. Make... I'm not sure if this is the greatest flavor, but it's probably the most practical of the three. As it is a big, I think. Mm, I need a small flathead screwdriver, not a Phillips. God damn it! This would be a good time to become a blacksmith. I still regret not taking that chance at the Renaissance Fair last year. I'm kind of impressed that they're actually hitting the wall that hard. Nothing like risking brain damage for the sake of art. Ah, oh, god damn. It was a cover for multiple screws. Deep, I know. It really isn't. Damn it. This flat screwdriver is too big for these small screws. If I was a magic user, this wouldn't be a problem. Thank God magic does exist. A baby screwdriver now. By destroying this performance art, do I become a part of the performance? Or is life just one big performance for interdimensional beings? We will never know. Unless you join a cult that claims otherwise. Did I just murder someone? That's a relief. I should have thought more about the consequences. I probably could have just asked nicely and got the soil that way. Instead of risking manslaughter. Thanks for the nutritious soil. You know, an apple a day keeps the lack of direction and students loans away.
Hey, don't take that. Sorry. Hey, it's actually perfume. Neat. Mmm, that fresh vagabond smell that the ladies love. It isn't morally wrong when you're trying to save the world. Hey, don't touch that. That's for the homeless. Damn it. If it wasn't for you meddling retirees, I would have had it too. You smell like the homeless. But you seem to still have most of your teeth and no beard. I'm going to pet the shit out of you. Uh, I'm going to use him for so many cuddles and pets. Welcome, my son, to the Church of Latter-day Glam. May your hair be fabulous, your pants be tight, and your excess be excessive. What is it you ask of me? Your hair is glorious. Can I touch it? Are you a groupie? I can be. I don't think so, dude. Damn it. So close to achieving pure bliss. Aww. Look at those cute little boots. I know you're trying to be demeaning, but yes, they are cute little boots. Comfortable, too. How did you become the messiah of a glam metal cult? Well, I was one of the world's most famous wrestlers a while back. My stick was that I was a singer from a glam metal band. My fame led to a life of excess, naturally. I did a lot of drugs and acquired new diseases that people didn't even know existed. <laughs> I got to name a few. It was pretty cool. Anyway, long story short, I obliterated my body. And here comes this duper genetics guy, and he offers me a new one if I run his glam metal cult. Cool. Who'd you get more chicks if you're a cult leader? What he failed to tell me is they don't yet have the tech to grow me a new body. So they put me in a pog temporarily. Brutal. Honestly, now I'm considering going half pog, half human for my final form. What is it like being a pug? Pretty good. Good apes of belly rubs. Can finally lick my own balls. Downside is that I need to chase things. Cats. Tennis balls, all the stereotypical stuff. What about chasing hoop dreams? What is this, a Nandis basketball movie? To be honest, I won't even be mad. Hey man, uh, can I borrow your necklace real quick? What? Why? Yeah, just to get rid of Olaf so he doesn't murder me. Dude, he's my primary source of income. How am I supposed to afford this life of excess if you kill him? You think all this sex and drugs grows on trees? How about if I just pick some sexual favors from the local birch tree? Lick a big redwood for my Wednesday LSD trip. How about I tie a tree vine around my neck and hang from a tree while I mass- Actually, that's a pretty good idea. Anyway, no. No, you cannot. What if I challenge you to a little bit of turn-based combat for it? Hmm. Being a huge JRPG fan, I cannot refuse. What do I get if I win? I'll condition your hair every six hours. You know how to tickle my little dog nipples. Ugh. What's with everyone's obsession with nipples around here? Making me feel bad now. What do you think I am? Some sort of monster? I don't think that will. I don't think that. <laughs> you think you can defeat me?
<laughs> Dogs and lasers are funny. Turns out spending half my life procrastinating helped me out. Better go get that necklace or nothing.